In this lesson, we're going to be talking about ICMP message types. As I mentioned previously, ICMP is useful for diagnostics. It's useful for providing error conditions to a requesting or originating host. ICMP is a control message or a control message protocol. Let's take a look at some of the messages that you could actually see when you are making use of ICMP. So we're looking at the ICMP RFC that was written in September of 1981, and you'll see it's actually RFC 792, and the RFC for IP internet protocol is RFC 791. So we're looking at RFC 792 here, and if we just scroll down, we'll start looking at the different messages. So right now we've got a destination unreachable message. A destination unreachable message has to do with the system that is trying to be contacted isn't actually available. So that's a type three message. And you'll see in ICMP, we've got a type and a code. When we're talking about unreachable, there's actually a few conditions that might render a system unreachable or a destination unreachable. Code zero is the network is unreachable. Code one, host unreachable. And we've got protocol and port unreachable and fragmentation and DF set or source route failed. So those are some conditions that would make a destination be unreachable. So we've got a type of destination unreachable and then we've got codes that give further detail as to what makes the destination unreachable. We've got a time exceeded message. This is a pretty simple one. The message that was being sent didn't get to its destination before the time to live expired. Right here, the code is time to live exceeded in transit, and the type happens to be 11. Now scrolling down a little bit further, we've got a parameter problem message, and there's a problem with a parameter in the message that was sent. Source quench message has to do with a system that's actually receiving too much traffic. You may send a source quench message saying, slow down, don't send me any more messages just yet until I'm ready to catch up because I'm just getting too much data. This is a redirect message. So this one says that the messages that are being sent need to go somewhere else. We're going to send a message back saying the messages need to be redirected. So here's a pretty common one right here. We've got an echo and an echo reply. And that would be in the ping messages where you would use that if you want to see whether a system is up. You would use the ping utility and it would use ICMP type 0 or type 8 and the code happens to be zero. So interestingly, they don't use the same type for both messages and then specify whether it's a request or a reply in the code. The type specifies whether it's an echo message or an echo reply. So type eight is an echo message and type zero is an echo reply. So you can see there are several different types of messages that ICMP specifies, and it has to do with diagnostics of the network, as well as error conditions that may exist either on the host or within the network. They're really all there to help communications go faster, more efficiently, and make sure that errors can be recovered from gracefully. If we don't actually send error messages back, then systems may have to wait until some amount of time is exceeded before they can do something else. So in this case, we can send error messages back and the system should be able to recover cleanly and gracefully from those error conditions and either retransmit as necessary or abort the communications. So that's really what ICMP is there for to manage those types of events. And these messages that we have looked at are really useful in helping that process along.